Digital badges, when implemented in educational settings, can increase student engagement and motivation, which in turn can lead to improved general learning outcomes. So what do you need to know about them? Let's start with an example. Imagine there are two schools, School A and School B. School A assigns traditional grades for student assessment, whereas School B is trying out a new system that uses digital badges to measure student achievements. Both schools give students access to their progress reports online. School A's progress report might present information like this. Just from looking at it, what can you tell about the student's knowledge or skill sets? How authentically does this report represent the student's experiences? School B's report could show off badges like these. Right away, you can see specific projects or activities the student has completed, and you may have more information about the student's abilities or interests overall. As a student, which system would you prefer? So, what are badges? As you can see, badges themselves are basically tokens that represent achievements. They could be given for completion of a project, mastery of a skill, participation in an activity. Basically, any goal that you might have for students could be rewarded with a badge. Beyond simple icons, however, badges represent choices. In choosing which badges to pursue, students can take control of their education, deciding what they want to learn and how they want to learn it. They can explore their own interests at their own pace. What about the future? Badge systems are gaining attention and popularity and are already in place in a number of educational settings. Khan Academy, for example, is an open education organization that aims to provide a high-quality education to anyone, anywhere. On the Khan Academy website, members are rewarded with badges for things like completing practice problems, being actively involved around the site and with the community, spending time watching videos, or achieving proficiency in a particular topic. The visual design of the badges themselves even reflects differences in the effort required to earn each badge. In the future, if systems for awarding and recognizing badges can be validated effectively, badges could function as reliable credentials that better reflect individual talents and experience. Two people may receive identical degrees from the same university, but the path that each one of them takes to earn that degree is unique. Badges could help communicate some of those individual differences to potential employers, as well as soft skills that might not otherwise be recognized. Let's look at another example. Treehouse, a subscription-based site that provides technology and web-based education, awards badges to members based on successful mastery of individual topics or techniques, or for completing all the components of a larger project. Looking at the badges a member has earned can give an idea of the particular skills, knowledge, or coding languages that the member has explored on the site, which could be useful in identifying qualifications for a given position. But still, why should you care? Well, let's look at grades again. In general, grades are the scores that your work is given based on deviation from the desired standard. There is a maximum score you can receive, so the best you can do is already established before you begin. The final grade you are given reflects any mistakes, omissions, or other failings that made your work less than what it could have been. Grading also depends heavily on individual variation between graders. Grades also don't give much information on their own. An A for attendance looks the same as an A for a challenging exam, although they may be weighted differently in calculation. Similarly, an A in English or Science, PE or Music, looks exactly the same as the others, but each one represents a very unique set of accomplishments. Badges, on the other hand, can easily reflect individual achievements for different tasks, skill levels, content areas, or experiences. They are earned based on a student's success, rather than on shortcomings. Badges can also be used to recognize skills and achievements beyond those that are typically given grades, and can help drive cross-disciplinary collaboration and development. Overall, integration of badge systems could represent a shift in how we think about education in general. Badges can provide opportunities to not only engage and motivate students in school, but to encourage exploration and participation outside of and beyond traditional institutional education.